That's fancy. <clears throat> that is fancy. All right, maybe get our favorite knife. So, you know what I'm going to check into? That's this one. Oh, it says forever on this knife. What? Isn't this like the fancy one? The one that, my favorite one, the one I like to cut. Yes. See? What's it called? I don't remember. Uh, it says Titan 21 Alloy Blades Made in Japan. And it's crazy, forever sharp, and awesome. I thought you knew like the brand of it or something. English style ale. It's it's a heavier, I think, uh, like um, like Dirty Bastard, but not, that's a heavy version. That's a that's a wee heavy English ale. So I'd be a more, and I had it. I brought some to Brian's, and I had a few, and I didn't check in. I'm gonna make the official check in, and yeah. Better than I had. still beers I haven't checked in that you have. No, I haven't. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta check your check ins. No, I had some of these you know, without you, but I left some here, but I didn't check in though. The Brian's. And the English one was a big hit. That was really good. Krampus. Krampus. Sorry, Krampus. Krampus is a barrel aged imperial milk Wishes it could be cool, like milk stout. Okay. Not that I'm a big milk stout fan, but I'm a huge stout fan. <laughs> what, was that other, um, what was that other lineys in that pack? Uh, um, I don't remember. I remember now. Juicy Peach, Sunset Week, Hazy IPA, and then the Snowdrift Porter. <laughs> They'll stick with that soda <laughs> reporter, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what fun. if they change the recipe? That'd be fun. So that was the one then that we were all excited about, and then, like, <laughs> we're like, uh. We were uh, positive that we drank that, like, for yeah. one winter, and we were just like, this is another. We have to drink it, drink it. And then we had other, like, actual, you know, more <laughs> thought out beers, and then we came back to that, and then we're like, uh oh. Yeah, and then, like, the, I feel like it was the next winter when it comes out, because, you know, it's not a, when it comes out in the winter. Fall. And then we're just like, wait a minute, why are we so excited about this beer? <laughs> what the hell? How much onion was it again? Like half a cup? Not that it really matters. But... Uh, hang on. Quarter cup, probably. Spin. Either way, I know this is enough onion. You're not a huge onion fan. Um, yeah, I know. It's... I feel like I'm cut small, I think. Yes, I feel like I'm cut small. I don't like, like big strips of onions. Like cooked onions, like big long strips of them, and, but, I haven't had an onion ring in ages, but I do like onion rings, it's probably good for crap. I think, yeah, I think part of that is the whole deep fried part. Mm-hmm. But there's also a different texture. No, yeah, for sure. And crunchy, whatever-y. Mm-hmm. It's the whatever-y. It is. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. a quarter cup onion. Third cup cilantro, half a teaspoon of salt. What I, I don't know whatever half a lime equates to half a lime juice. <coughs> You're thinking you already had that code twenty two beer? Code yeah, it doesn't matter because I didn't check in. No, that one I don't know. I think I don't think I had that one because that's insane reality. I would remember that. I think. With those hops. So we never responded to MB's email about Thanksgiving. Oh shit, what was it? Hi all, we are so excited you are joining us for Thanksgiving dinner later this month. Please plan to come around 6-ish for cocktails, dinner will be around 7-ish. If anyone has any food allergies, please let me let us know. We are so excited to spend Thanksgiving with you back at our house and then give you the address and in case it's been so long that you forgot where we live. Mm-hmm. 
We do need to reply and just tell her about the, um, tell them about the yeah. fact that we won't be there for cocktails and we'll try to get Sorry. there as close to seven as we can. Yeah. And we're not staying a minute past six. Like, especially if, you know, if it's certain people's suggestions are fault. I just have to have a hard fist. Like, I'm, I'm approaching that, like, a little less annoying and grumpy. Well, you bit. should message Alec and just say, hey, you know, this is, you know, unusual this year, but, like, we made plans to go, just so he knows. Yeah. And then ask him for his, um address because I don't want I don't know if I have Carol's address in here anymore mm -hmm. my great phone debacle because then we don't have to worry about asking Amy from the address and then not getting it until like right. we're sitting there right let me look I think I have Carol in there no I don't anymore oh I have it in my actual old lady address book Like, you know, if your mom was cool, I will show up even earlier. Yeah, that's what I, I mean, want to do. Yeah. We don't want to stress out Carol because you don't get stressed right. out right. making that. Right. Well, yeah, it's a good call on, like, in the whole Alec. <clears throat> well, I don't have McMullen's address in there. I'm trying to remember what size I made the, the tomato slices, these aromas. Yeah, yeah. Guacamole, it's a yeah, small yeah, yeah. chunk. Not super small because right. we're not blending this guacamole into zero. We're gonna make it chunky. Yeah. Chunky. That's, that's like the part that I like. Well, not the tomatoes, the actual avocado themselves. I don't want them to be like smoothed out. You can buy that in any old pre-made guacamole. When you're making handmade guacamole, it should be like chunky. That's right. And I remember to get rid of the middle part. It's like pretty much only the skin, and then like the middle, the other group I just put in a, in these Ramsteins and then like eat them. <laughs> That's what I was doing before, even though these are that watery. So who knows? Either way, the innards, including the delicious juices and whatnot, are going in, going in uh, this Ramstein. This so, guacamole recipe. Where am I? I don't know. Oh, good housekeeping. It's like literally got everything you need. It's got the ingredients for food, but then it says utility knife, cutting board, spoon, mixing bowl, potato masher, silicone spatula. Does it say hands? Uh, no. But then not literally? Buy those. Not Shoot, literally. I didn't say that. <laughs> Anything you need to purchase. <laughs> you know what I mean. Purchase? So uh, what if you got like an insider that you can get it for free? What if you grow your own? <sighs> Do you lie a lot? What's the deal with that? What do you lie? Use a potato masher or a fork. Mash off how it creamy. However, you can always leave larger pieces if you're a fan of chunky guac. Mm. I am a fan of the chunky guac. Finely chop sweet onion, tomato, and jalapeno. No. Mm -hmm. Use a sharp knife or refrigerated onion to prevent onion induced tears. Psst. Blah, 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 blah. Finally combine the vegetable mixture with the avocado mash. So you're chopping up onion, tomato, and then combine it with the avocado, then you add cilantro, salt, and the juice of half a lime. <clears throat> then you start scooping. Mm -hmm. He's face shoveling. Yeah, shoveling. Grab it face. So onion and tomato together and then the, uh, then the avocado? Correct. Mm -hmm. You dice up onion and tomato and then you add it to the veggies or add it to the avocado. Oh, so the avocado was in there already. You're cutting the avocado, scooping the insides, get the avocado out, then you're, you know, slightly mixing up the avocado because it's kind of like crunch, chunky. Then you finely chop onion, tomato, 
and combine the veggie mixture with the avocado. Okay, so I don't know, it doesn't matter the order then. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, this is like somehow satisfying to watch this over and over again. It just loops around. Oh, yeah, spatula around the bowl. Nice. Yeah. Can you step back and go like this? You got like yeah. this. <clears throat> Thanks, man. That's true. Oh, no. I did it in the bathroom. A lot of them were just like on there. Yeah. And I could see if I like kind of. I think because of that light, anytime we like fall like in this kitchen, it's like I totally see yeah. that. And like, never is. Yeah, to get the uh, humidifiers out later. Yeah. 20 best guacamole recipes for the avocado obsessed. Okay, I feel like I want more tomato in there because tomato is so good. Like what? I want more tomato in there because it's so good. But. I wish it got there. What? The red beans be weird in tacos? No. Shouldn't make that face when you're eating the best part of the avocado. Nice, Alessa. Mm. Okay, could be more flavorful. Yeah, dash of salt and make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Effective. Sure. Weird how like much salt changes stuff. I forgot. How should the guac chunkies be? Or slices? I forget. Is it slice like thin slices or what? How should it be if it's a slice of pizza? No, block? just like chunks, kind of similar. No, this tomato is pretty chunky. Oh, that's too, too chunky? Oh. Yeah, might be a little bit less okay. than that. Okay, I'd like some more. Uh, All right. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Bits and then guacamole. Do you feel salsa eat? 
What bit? Do you feel salsa y? Sure. Alright, I'll cut these small then. Do you want some chopped green chilies to go in yours? Yeah. Good idea. Or actually, no, I got these other. Well, yeah, sure, I'll do both. Maybe I'll do the. I'm going to put this in mine. And then, but yeah, I'll also do the. Uh, what are these? Uh, chopped green chilies. Nice. Ancient pineapple can still in here. Well, then you should put it out somewhere, huh? No? Okay. I'm going to bury it again. Surely a way to eat it is bury it in the back. So. Mm-hmm. No thanks. Okay. Are these uh, okay? Do you like them? Better, but not optimal. Yeah, those are Into these for our, at least for my margarita. Nice. <laughs> these fancy ones for our. Hidden gems are in here. Oh. These chips. Even though we don't need chips. Oh, okay. To, what you call it? Okay. For Derek, or honey. Or just have it be a present for him. <laughs> it looks like it's open. How about this? Are these fine pieces to your liking, my lady? Huh. I think we do have dry milk. No, why do we have it? Uh, it was for some uh, bread, I think. Uh, we're making bread or something like that. We kind of do again. All right. I think I rinsed these. They look 
look all nice and cartoony, but eh, I guess they're fine. Which? No, they were not ripe enough, these other avocados, but those look like too perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, well. Hello, avocado, my only friend. We're making back our money again. Because you are so delicious for my face. I want to eat it every place. What? There was two uh, avocados, right, for this kind of loose recipe. Hopefully it was one so I could double up everything else. But... Two avocados. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the cilantro doesn't really matter. I'll probably go over a little bit. Yeah. Since you like the cilantro. And it was what, like a quarter cup or something? Third cup. Third cup, okay. So you find these little stems out, even though in the mix you can't really notice them that much, but you do because you're a picky freak. Saying refried beans did miss us. It did miss us. And we have red beans, or you can make this black beans and rice. That's bad, right? That might taste too warm, you know. <clears throat> Which would you prefer? Mm -hmm. Any options again, babe? Sorry. Red. Mix the beans in with the taco mm -hmm. meat. Okay. I wonder if that's a certain style, like a chili, like Texas chili doesn't have beans. Like is... Yeah. I remember we went to that chili cook off at that bar like forever ago. Oh, or Gary was always entering. Yeah. 
And then I think it was the Texas style chili that I thought was just disgusting. Yeah, because that was all meat. <laughs> and it's not the ground beef, it's like weird chunks of meat and no beans. Mm -hmm. and that's what is Gary knows how to make some good chili. He's quite a chili master for normal people who can tolerate delicious meat. That's not that. That's all that version of chili is. Now, this whole maraschino cherry and blackberries doesn't go with my drinking beer situation. So. Oh, yeah. Well, it goes with the margarita situation. So we're doing margaritas, right? Yes. I don't know. I'm torn. Beer, weirdly enough. Mm -hmm. Weird about wanting beer? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, how much lime? Okay. How much lime? So the juice that would come out of half a lime. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna Google. Things. Yeah, Google how much uh, lime juice is in half a lime. Because you know, parentheses, that would have been hard. Yeah. How much lime juice is in one lime? Two tablespoons. So oh. one tablespoon okay. of lime, not lime juice. One tablespoon. <laughs> Again, new skylines with all deliciousness. Don't forget the salt. Oh, definitely not. It's been a ton of spam emails I've been getting lately. It's like, oh, your system, system is notification, or we authorize this, whatever. I've been getting like people trying to steal my crypto, like, uh, your purchases have been authorized, click here, and I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. Like, people that have, and, you know, when it's crypto people, trying to scam you know they're, they're more technically savvy so it's like ooh, yikes so you're trying to trick probably more tech savvy people but then there's gonna be the people that just aren't and they're gonna click it and then sayonara man mm -hmm. speaking of i gotta finish moving all my crypto to i'm gonna move my crypto like off all the exchanges in case like crypto move back up you know like the contagion as they say like i'm like wiping out a bunch of things because of like what happened with the big exchange, that FTX? Mm -hmm. Alright, so how much salt? My whole like hundred dollars of crypto, pretty sad. Right, so? How much salt? Half a teaspoon. Just how much was it? Half a teaspoon. Okay. Mm. Who knows? Okay. It's very um, avocado-y. 
I feel like I could use some more tomatoes in there, but let's see what you say. Oh, you think I should maybe put more tomato in there? Maybe. That's another chip for me. That's good, that's good, that's good. How is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pretty good? Mm. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more salt. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more lime juice. We should get that on video. We're shoving the whole chip in your face. Mmm. Like, <laughs> I feel the salt in the... The lime. The lime. The lime. Mmm. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Alrighty then. What do you think? Good to go? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you gotta make all the tacos. <laughs> but it's right, you gotta make tacos.